Oh no, two classes with the same name in different namespaces? That's chaos waiting to happen. Exactly. You think you're calling one class, but c is scratching its head going, wait, which one do you mean? Hi guys, let's take a look at resolving namespace conflicts within your code. So let's have a look at this namespace here. Namespace is Toyota, and then we've got another namespace, Honda. Both of these namespaces have the same class. So I've got car class here, and you can see I've got car class here. I am using the following at the top to bring both these namespaces in and make them available to my global namespace. So here is where my global namespace lives, which is without a namespace. So anything Thing that doesn't have a namespace within the global namespace so as you can see here i have an error here and here this is because it's saying compiler error ambiguous reference and if i hover over this is the error that we get ambiguous error it doesn't know whether to select honda or toyota so how do you resolve this one way you can resolve this is actually appending it with a fully qualified name so if we go to quick fix over here and you can say fully qualify the car and you select honda and then the this would qualify it at Honda. And then you can do the same here. Just go quick fix, qualify R, and then select Honda again. And that solves the issue. And you can see there's no longer any error because we are now talking about the Honda car, which is over here. So a better way could be is you alias your using statements here. If I alias Toyota as, as T car, so here now Toyota is actually T car. And I've named Honda as H car. So both of these are now different. So now what we can do is later on in our code, rather than using the full name. So here, as you can see, I've changed it to H car. And you can see here that I've changed this one to H car as well. And then if I want to change that to Toyota, then all I have to do is just change that to T car and change that to T car. And that solves my problem of not knowing or the ambiguous reference error. I'm now using alias for my namespaces, which are at the top. And then I don't have to type the name out fully like this. Instead, I can just use the shorthand alias name that I have defined. So just remember, if you do have naming conflicts amongst your namespaces, you can use aliases within your code like this, or you can use the fully qualified name if you prefer. I like the alias method. I think it adds clarity and you have to do less typing, which is really handy. So if I run this program over here and you can see that by using the alias here, I get the correct output put here and the same with if I change it to H car and if I run this you can see now I've got the Honda Civic over here because it is using H car which is referenced up here H car basically means the Honda namespace over here which means it accesses the Honda namespace over here and the Honda car here 